everyone, welcome back. This is Tableau Zen Master Luke Stanky, and in this Build This Viz video, we're going to take a look at the bar chart, but with a confidence interval added to it. And we're going to do this with Tableau Superstore data on Tableau 2020.4. I'd love to say that this is going to be a perfect example. It's not, but at least it's something to showcase the visualization. We're just going to hop into Tableau right now and take a look. Right now, what you're looking at is a bar chart of sales uh, customer sales, so the average sales per order, it's not even average, it's the, well, it technically is, the median sales per customer by region and segment. And then we have confidence lines that show sort of the band, the range of confidence between the 45th and the 55th percentile. This data is extremely skewed, so it's kind of hard to make a perfect example of it, but this is what we want to showcase. We want to be able to show the bar and then sort of show a line that gives us some confidence to go with the actual value. And to start, we're going to create a new sheet and we're going to go find category and, or sorry, we're going to go find um, region and we're going to place that out on our view. And then we're also going to go find, well, this time we'll use segment and place that to the right out on rows. We'll make sure it fills our entire view for this visualization. From there, let's create a calculated field. It's going to be a fixed statement. So I'm just going to type fixed and I'm going to specify the level of detail I want my analysis at, which is at the customer, the customer name level. And we're just going to say for every customer in the region uh, and by region and by segment, give me the sum of sales. So this is going to give the total sales per customer. Again, this visualization is not a one for one for what I just showed, but it's going to be pretty close. I'll just call this sales conditioned on CN for customer name, region, and segment. It's just a shortcut for me to remember the actual name for this. And I'm just going to hit OK. And I'll just go find that value and place it out on columns. From here, I'm going to actually change my level of aggregation from sum to median. And that's going to show my median value. So the median customer and the sales for each of those customers based on the region and segment that we're seeing here. Now I could show labels and I could be done, but there's clearly going to be a distribution of values across each of these uh, bars. And we want to showcase that bar with some sort of confidence interval. So that's where the next part is going to come into play here. We're going to create a new calculated field and we're going to create two. Uh, they're going to represent our percentiles for this sales value. So what we're just going to say is percentile and we're going to click and drag our new calculation that we just created that showed us an aggregate by customer name, region, and segment. And I'm going to just type comma 0.45. This is going to give me the 45th percentile and I'll just call it sales 45th just for a nice short name here. And notice I'm using our aggregation that we just created. Hitting OK. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to edit it and I'm going to change this to be to the 55th as well. Since I'm doing this basically on the fly here, we're just going to see how it turns out. And we might adjust these parameter values in the percentile, uh, technically the actual parameters, but uh, they're values that we're working with here. And now I'm just going to find measure names and measure values and place measure values out on columns. I'm not too worried about all these values. I want to get rid of everything but the 45th and 55th values here removing them off and I'm going to change my mark type to a line and I'm also going to take measure names which defaulted onto my my marks card here and put that on path. Now we can just change the color. I'll make it like gray and maybe I'll make it a little bit opaque so that we can see through it and frankly you know what let's make the line a little bit bigger too while we're at it. Now I can just right click and I can make this a dual axis and synchronize it up. Uh, you'll see my mark type just changed. That's fine. This is an interesting plot in itself, but since we're sticking with the bar chart theme, we'll just change that mark type back to bar. And here we have that confidence interval now showing up on our view. Maybe we'll just keep that a little bit uh, less opaque and we'll just kind of make it super dark. And you'll see, uh, you'd expect the bars to be even on, uh, or the line to be even on both sides of the bar, uh, half on and half off, but it's not. What this means is that our data is pretty skewed. It's skewed out. So we probably have some major outliers in terms of our, our customers, and we'll eventually look at and do outlier analysis. 
but for this view, what we have here is exactly where we want to end this. The focus of this visualization was adding the confidence line on top of the bar. We've done that and we did it with measure values and percentiles to go with it. The question is, after seeing this visualization, would you use confidence lines, yes or no? Go ahead, write in the comments whether you're going to use this or you're just going to stick to a bar chart or something else. I know personally, I'm probably not going to use it too much, but it's worth showcasing in this Build This Viz series because, frankly, I want to showcase as many different chart types as possible, and at some point, we're going to have to reach for a few. That said, that's the end of this video. If you did like it, be sure to hit the like button. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to hit the subscribe button. As new videos come out, they're going to land in your inbox, and you'll be able to catch them right away instead of having to wait waiting for me to tweet about them, waiting for me to post on LinkedIn, wherever, getting them from friends. They'll just show up right where they are. That said, this is the end of this video. You've made it all the way through. Appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one.